Good morning to both of you. There are several marches happening right now. They will all converge here at Figueroa and 7th at 10 a.m. We're right outside the Intercontinental, and you see this strike behind me and the proximity to all the guest rooms, which are right out there. They want to make sure their voices are heard and their message is clear. And as we show you some of these strikers here, as the sun rose this July 4th, they were out here on the holiday marching, saying they will do so until their demands are met. Unite Here Local 11 represents 32,000 hospitality workers in California and Arizona, including cooks, room attendants, dishwashers, servers, bellmen, and front desk agents. They've been on strike since Sunday. Workers are demanding a 40% increase in pay. Currently, members earn 20 to 25 an hour, and negotiators want an immediate $5 an hour raise and an additional three an hour in subsequent years. The Hotel Coalition says they've offered $2.50 an hour in the first 12 months and $6.25 over four years. Housekeepers, for example, who currently make $25 per hour would make more than $31, they say, by January 2027. But I want to bring in Emily Munoz now, who says that wage that's been offered by the hotels is still not enough for her, right? What, what is your message this morning? Um, that we do put up the raise. We all need it. If it's hard for me that I have no kids, and now imagine the families that have three to two kids, and it's really hard for me, so now imagine for them. So I just want to go ahead and say um, support us on this, because this is really hard for us. Some of the hotels that are included in this strike where union workers are JW Marriott, LA Live, Millennium Biltmore, Hotel Fig, just down the street, uh, Viceroy, Santa Monica, just to name a few of the many. How have guests been impacted? You've been hearing from them. So what I've been hearing is that they've been having dirty linen, dirty trash, no service, and if they do get service, it's very light service. And um, I am a housekeeper, so it's really hard to maintain the rooms clean. And now imagine with all of us out here, I can't even imagine the room. So you, your impact is being felt this time. Yeah, it's being very felt. Thank you so much for talking to us. Really appreciate your perspective. She drives very far from Compton. Takes her up to an hour, she says, uh, trying to get into work with traffic in downtown. And a lot of the people here, some drive from Palmdale. They're being priced out because the cost of living in L.A., of course, is so high. Let's show you a statement right now from the coalition representing 44 hotels that are involved in this strike. They claim the union is focused on a political agenda. And, quote, the hotels want to continue to provide strong wages, affordable, quality family health care and a pension instead of proposing new taxes on guests of union hotels the union should accept our offer to return to the bargaining table immediately but we've also heard that the hotels have not been available for bargaining during this uh, these holidays I mean we are on you know one of the biggest holidays of the year today and they have not been available as of today according to the people out here we out here all morning especially when all of those marches converge here in downtown Los Angeles